first of all, we were not in the whole group lesson today, really. Right. You were kind of finishing up yes. as we came in. So how do you think that went? The whole group went very well. We just had students that came up to teach and review the lessons and strategies that we used the day before. Similar questions also to what they were doing today. Okay. And the, the students were um, really engaged in the conversation when we came in also. And something I noticed that they were doing that they were not doing on Monday was using the different strategies that you've put on the anchor charts. So I thought it was really good that those strategies were put into place and the students were actually using them. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to look at the student work. And you and I sit down and made the rubric. Yes. And we kind of talked about what we expected to see and what we considered um, unsatisfactory, marginal, proficient, and excellent. So if we're looking for unsatisfactory, or if it's unsatisfactory, we're looking for it to be incorrect okay. with an inefficient strategy. We'll kind of talk about what that was like. Um, marginal, incorrect with a strategy. Um, and Mindy had this, this inappropriate whole number reasoning. Oh, yeah, that is. That. Well, and that kind of comes in, you know, we talked about it the other day, but like, remember when we talked about it for a minute, we said the first day she was saying that they they were okay when it was one fourth or one. Yes, when we were and just so, using the unit fraction. Exactly. So that shows us when they got to some of them because she said they're struggling when it was a numerator greater than one. Yes. That shows where that inappropriate whole number reason is coming out. One was fine, but when we changed that numerator, it changed their thinking about it. So that's where we were putting it that marginal piece. We definitely saw that with Xander when we were doing the um, the trapezoid into the hexagon. Yeah. That was our telltale sign, actually. Mm -hmm. Is that it's very normal. Like it's he had the procedure down, but he could not understand that those were making holes. Gotcha. So that's awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's the only thing that we really added after we made the rubric. Um, and then the proficient is correct with an efficient strategy, um, inefficient strategy, I'm sorry, and we're, that might be repeated addition or creating that visual model. Okay. And I kind of took some notes on the ones that used the unifix cubes. Okay. And then our excellent is correct with an efficient strategy, and right. that's just us looking for them to multiply it. Got it. And it is a new concept for them, you know, in fourth grade, so that's why we said they can use that more inefficient strategy as proficient because repeated addition, if we see that and see that they're making that connection, we're like, whoa, yay. You yes. know, and it's okay that they're still drawing pictures and visuals right now because we want them to build that concept first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start going through it and um, we'll separate them. Okay. And I'll take some notes as we separate right, them out. We've got we Taylor have... first and, and he did the visual model and then he did repeated mm -hmm. addition. He did understand that it was Ashley and her four friends. And so he has one, two, three, four, five bags, not just the four. Nice. So he did repeated addition, but he did not understand that 20 fifths was a, like there was a hole hidden in there. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because he said 20 fifths bags. It's mm -hmm. like, it's not wrong, right. but you just didn't have that, to the right. idea you talked about when we were coming in about, yes. I'm not going to go ask you to do that. When when I started asking them to do that yesterday, it, it made like all the difference in the world okay. for them because they were like, I don't understand that. And I said, well, I don't either. When I read your <laughs> answers, I don't understand that. Yeah. So that's exactly where he is. So he's okay. just not understanding. But he also mm -hmm. is, though, still doing the visual representation. So he's kind of like caught in the middle well, right we can there. Kind of because That's he is fine. doing the what? What do we talk about here the too? The repeated addition mm -hmm. with the visual model. Because he's not wrong. Right. No. But that's just not how we would say it. But he might not so understand the exactly. fraction itself. Perfect. Like conceptual, procedural, and that might but be not something conceptual. that we need to cover in small group. Okay. So if we have several like that. Oh, okay. Small group. Right. I'll put it in the middle for right now. Yep. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. Gracie mm -hmm. multiplied out, but she came up with a whole number instead of the fraction itself. So 20 bags of treats, Ashley's friends and her have 20 bags of treats. So she didn't understand that she was multiplying in a fraction. It was more like a whole number. Mm -hmm. So she does not understand the fraction in itself. She does mm -hmm. understand the multiplication, but not the fraction. Okay. So where, do you, where would you mm -hmm. want to put her for an answer? I would put her with unsatisfactory. Yeah. Even though even though me knowing Gracie, I think this was just like a little blip, but um, she needs, if, if that's what she's writing out, then she needs some, yeah. just a, some reinforcement. Right, and based on what we saw the other day, sometimes those misconceptions are a little bit yeah. deeper yeah. than we thought. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, this is Crimson. And she 
she said it looks like this, or you can write it like that, which is 20 fifths, which equals four bags. They have four bags in total. And she has her units down there. Yes, also. she does. And she even wrote the equation correctly because right. it's five groups of one fourth instead of four, four times four yeah, fifths times right. five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you do for her? I would put her in excellent. Um, I agree. <laughs> because, I mean, the fact that she even knew that you could do it like this or you can do it like that. Yeah, that, that to me, under, like she understands strategies. it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll put her over there. Whoop, whoop. All right, this is Aiden D. Ashley and her four friends get 16 fifths. So he did not understand that Ashley was in here, and, and he just four multiplied friends. four by, by the four fifths. And so he did 16 fifths, which this is more of that multitask, um, mm -hmm. multi-step word problem that we've been seeing. Um, it's not that he didn't understand. I would actually probably put him with Taylor and maybe just put an asterisk like to go over um, word problems with him. Okay. okay. Because I think conceptually he's he's about where, where Taylor is, but because yeah. he's not understanding that that's a whole. He is understanding the procedure, but he's not understanding that word problem either. And he actually took notes on him while I was doing the noticing and naming. And he is one of those that has that procedural fluency mm -hmm. that he was not able to create the fraction. So um, he's going to need help with that conceptual understanding. Okay. All right. I agree. Just sticking with him right now. Okay. I agree with that. Okay. We have our Davian, and he, he did the same as mm -hmm. Aiden. He didn't understand that Ashley was adding in with her four friends. And he said each friend he got 16 fists. And he said four times four is 16, but then he said that means 16 fifths. But then he said 15 and one fifth. And I did some notes on him for fraction noticing bigger than, And he even says the fraction mm -hmm. is bigger than one, but he didn't mm -hmm. understand how. Right, and that's what, when I was taking some notes on him, we were doing that first one and it was seven holes and he drew this, but then he kind of had a hard time combining these. Okay. So mm -hmm. he knew to represent it, but he didn't know quite. I said, well, how could I combine these in order to get my answer? He's so. exactly where Xander was the other day. Yes. That, mm -hmm. That's exactly what Xander mm -hmm. was doing. So would we put him with these friends right here or more in between these two friends? I'd probably put... I, I, from seeing what I saw when I was doing the notice and naming, I probably put him, put him more here, here because right. he was really confused about... He drew me a model, but he didn't know how to use that model to get the answer. And he you know did, what I mean? And I actually talked to him also, and he was doing the same thing on the original problem. He was he was having trouble making equal groups, which he was attempting to make equal groups. Okay. And then he was um, struggling with turning those into visual fractions. Okay. All right. All right, so... Nevaeh says four times four fifths, but then she had a multiplication error, and she said four times four was. She did the same thing. Or is that Ashley a sixteen? Four is that a 16? I think it's yeah, a, or is that a twenty six? Oh. I think it's a sixteen. I think it's a sixteen. Okay. It looks like a sixteen. Right. Oh. Yeah, because then she changed it to three. Mm -hmm. Okay. And four. All right. So that's what it is. So she did the same thing. Her procedure is right. Mm -hmm. She even turned it into a. And she said bang. So she did the units. So that's. Probably right there. Like them, right? Because they were doing the kind of same thing. Cinevea. Coriana, she was struggling so hard this morning. She did write this out. And she says, I have 16. So she did four times same four. Mm -hmm. So she did 16 in all. But she does not understand that that is a fraction. She's not okay. understanding, so I might even She's put her down those there. Whole numbers. Mm -hmm. And we want to be careful too, you know. And I know one of the things with uh, Rodavian too, making sure if they're making those different holes that they're the same size. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you know, and that could help them with that thinking as well. So making sure when we help her, you know, that we do that. Okay. So which one did you put him in? I'm, I'm going to put her right there. Okay. Then we have Kimberly, and she said. Okay, so she says four fifths plus four fifths, and then she said that's eight, four fifths, four fifths, eight, and then four fifths. So she had 16, and then she says 20. Oh, there's four there. Mm -hmm. Right, so she, yeah. oh, well, yeah, yeah she did do that. Did. So, but she did not put it into a hole. Right. So she said there's 20 fifths in all of the bags. But do you think so she didn't really understand these, though, the right? problem? Because yeah. they knew 16. She at least right. knew the multi-step part. Yes. 
I, I would put her probably right Ooh. in the middle-ish kind of. Yeah, I think so because she understands conceptually what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I she just couldn't. One more little step. So she's she's, got she's it. using that repeated addition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is Yaritzel, and she just says they she drew this out and said they got twenty bags and all. So she's not understanding. She just counted twenty. Yeah, she yeah, just counted the units. Number. She just counted the units, so she's she not. Did do her she did do the model, but she's not understanding good. the fraction. So I would probably put her right here with our Davian and Coriana yeah. and Maurice. Yeah, and she was really using um, the day before's work to complete her task. Also, okay. Um, so she was going back and looking to create those models. So she'll need a lot of support. Okay. All right, and then here's Briley. She said that four times four fifths times four so she didn't understand that Ashley was included and then she said 16 they each get 16 fifths so she's understanding what to do but not the word problem I was wondering why she wrote 16 fifths under mm -hmm. each of those two you know what I mean she did she labeled each mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she truly knows what's going on because she did she does understand what we're doing here but not, this is very similar to what we saw earlier with our Davian. So I would probably mm -hmm. just put her mm -hmm. with our Davian. Okay. Because she's understanding the math part of it. The you want to make sure the part. procedure, conceptual, right. and then that procedural. She, she's going to need some I'm going to put her beside, I'm gonna, beside her Davian since that was so close. Yes. You know what I mean? And then we have Gavin. And he drew that out. One, two, three, four, five. He did include... 25th and then he said in total they got four, four bags in total <laughs> in total they got four bags in total <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put proficient though proficient. maybe because they he's still use repeated he's still, addition. yeah he's doing repeated addition but he also understood that that represents four fifths mm -hmm. we could just show him how that moves into multiplication so. right because there's nothing wrong we're happy that he's getting Absolutely. that concept right. we'll I'll put him he's right there with yeah and this is A and B, so. Okay. Which, right. I think he might have been a little bit nervous today because he, math minded, he's, he can do this. He just might have been Yeah, I've heard him have a good conversation. Yes. But we'll didn't. put him there and see where he moves. Okay. Um, they will get 20 bits of trick, but he, mean, he meant the bags, so. Mm -hmm. Of the trick bags. <laughs> and he drew it out probably just counted mm -hmm. uh -huh. so he understands what's going on fraction wise but he doesn't understand the whole number so that's kind of repeated addition in mm -hmm. a way mm -hmm. and the model so maybe so with these put, friends that's where i would put him and that's Jalen. Mm -hmm. okay which i'm so proud of that for him to understand that we've been working hard this week good um, Kristen says four fifths times four so she didn't understand the full problem but she actually explained this to me because she didn't want me to think she didn't know what she was doing she <laughs> said I knew that this was 16 fifths but I knew that that five would go into 16 three times but then I would need to add that one fifth so she said it was three and one fifth total and then okay. she said bags right there um, so she's not really understanding the problem but Thank and then she did you. five. She knew that this was five plus five. That's what she was saying. That oh, this okay. was five plus five plus five will get you close to 16, but then you would need to add the one fifths. So she was right here. She was explaining to me her division. She's pretty close to the math. She just, she's got her work scripted mm -hmm. out. She just needs help understanding that the word problem part. I think so, most of them, I know some of them had a few differences, but I know that a lot of them had that mm -hmm. too. Okay. So we'll put but, but even she's... though they're a little higher though, they're still doing some of the similar things because a lot of these kids in here did the four instead right. of the five. Right. So maybe m mixing them together would help those that are still not solid on the math and having her do that math too. That oh yeah, idea. that would be a good, that would Because they're not so good. far apart from each other. Right. Maybe we'll see. No, I think I think so. I think you're right. So we're gonna put her. She might. Fish. I mean, but she might be just that that strong end to mm -hmm. this group, and and probably her explaining her own learning will probably push her mm -hmm. into this group. Mm -hmm. Right. There's Eli, and he said five times four fifths equals twenty fifths, which equals four and zero fifths. 
So they had four whole bags in total. And when he put the zero fist, I asked him, I said, how much is zero fist? He goes, zero. I go, okay. <laughs> and so he said, I don't really need that, do I? I said, <laughs> so that's why so, he yeah. it out. <laughs> and he said, I was like, how much is that? He goes, it's zero. I was like, I was just seeing if he knew it was zero. So. <laughs> he was making sure, why don't you know it's <laughs> so I was like, okay, got it. Okay. So, I mean, to me, that's multiplication out. Mm -hmm. He just... He knew that he had no more fifths left, mm -hmm. and then you, he was e easily able to correct that with mm -hmm. you, just a oh, small yeah. conversation. And so. it wasn't, I mean, really, he could put that. We just would never say zero fifths. And he even but. put this right here, one plus four equals five friends. I know. That's, that's really impressed. Yes, that's impressive. So I would put him excellent. proficient. Oh, I'm sorry, excellent. Yes. I agree. Because he used, I see no models, I see no repeated addition. He went straight to that five groups of four fifths multiplicative equation. And he has his units down also. He does. Right. There's Hugh, four fifths times five equals 20 fifths. 20 divided by five is four. Each of them get four bags of treats in total. He's so good. He is. Okay, now Xander, four times four is 16. And then he did not mark that as a fraction. He put it as a fraction here, but left it as a 16 whole number. Ashley and her friends have a total of four bags. So he did. He might have been thinking that as a missing factor problem. Four times what gets me 16? 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Which he can do that, but he just is missing that multi-step. Yeah. Right. So. Hmm. You might be able to go through this one again and build those together that just had that air of doing the 16 instead of the and I would agree with that because I've seen him move from here like we've witnessed that this week from here to here and that would be his next step because this is still growth from what we were seeing mm -hmm. earlier right but he just needs a little push I'm I think him and Kristen will be they'll work together to be here in no time mm -hmm. just with a little bit of support we have Kamori I'm so proud of this one. This I is where, where y'all were talking to her. She she yeah. already drew it out perfectly, and then she went to go get the um, un, the Unifix cubes because she thought she had to have them to mm -hmm. count this out. And all you did was just tell her, well, can't you count what you've already shaded? And she was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, um, and she didn't really even ask her, could she count what she, ever, uh, what she shaded? Can. She actually just said, which part do you need to count? And, and she could tell said, her I need to count the shaded parts. Okay, and, and she said right here, 16. So I'm not sure. She says 20 here, 4 times 5 is 20. But I don't think she's understanding the fraction part of it. And then she put 16 right here and just said 16 bags. So I'm not sure if she just heard somebody say that and did not trust her own work there. Right, mm -hmm. or if she just took this, that 4 fifths, and just said that's, you know, like you just said. Mm -hmm. She said that's 20 because when I... I knew I wasn't really supposed to help her with the exit ticket. I really wanted to because I read. I went back and I was like, Ashley and four friends, and she's like, I said, so how many models did you draw? She goes, four. I go, Ashley and four friends, and she's like, looking at me like you're crazy, lady. And I was like, okay, well I'll just walk away and you know whatever. But I think that I think hers is the same as she was some of these that she just didn't know the yeah. Multi -step. That's, a, that's okay. huge growth for her. It is huge growth. I know she she did really well. I was proud of her. I, I would want to watch her though to see. Um, if she's more here than here, I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, I don't want to just push her over here without a lot of support. Mm -hmm. I agree. We're gonna put her with this group to get extra support. Yes. Okay. But I think that we can push her over here, no problem. Right. If she keeps understanding, if she has a true understanding of this, I think we'll be good to move her. Just with like one more little check probably like Monday if I give her something similar to this and just see how she's doing. Mm -hmm. I agree. And that's that's all of our friends. Okay. So let's look at our next steps for Gracie, Ardavian, Koriana, Uritzel, Aiden, Komori. Um, I I really want them to see those holes. Um maybe doing that um rhombus center with me and us just having some conversation doing that game in small group and they could also benefit from going ahead and using you know we had talked about putting the triangles oh yes and mm -hmm. so creating holes out of the different shapes 
Because that's one conversation me and Chessie had when um, we were walking around, is that using those pattern blocks for these, I mean, Unifix cubes are great, but with the pattern blocks adding those fourths and twelfths, you can now do halves, thirds, right. fourths, sixths, twelfths, like, you can do all of those different ones now, which are very common in fourth grade, almost all the denominators that you deal with. Right. Um, so using those different tools, because I think that would really help them too. Okay, to and I know that we said as a challenge for, I, I know that we were talking about next steps, just just us anticipating what we would see. We said maybe for a challenge, for an exploration for these friends, maybe just having them see what would your denominator be using triangles? What would your mm -hmm. denominator be using those half trapezoids? Mm -hmm. That way that they could be actually making those denominators for this group probably yeah. because um, I think this group would need to see that conceptually as well and I know we have an activity like that Chastity I'll help you pull that about um, you know, using that hexagon as the whole at mm -hmm. one time um, but then also you could push your kids and something we'll talk about in a little bit making the hexagon not one whole maybe two hexagons as a whole mm -hmm. so we'll talk about that in a minute but we can pull that. Mm -hmm. We'll pull that resource this afternoon and get it to you, and y'all can talk through that okay. one. I agree with you, though. Okay. All right, so looking at Crimson, Eli, and Hugh for next steps from them, and we were kind of talking about, and you just tell me what you think about this, we were talking about that higher group, maybe getting them to start creating their own story problems oh, yeah. that you could solve in class and talking about those fractions. Um, we also have some of the math, the rich task that okay. we can maybe in, put in stations for them just for that group. Okay. And just give them a problem solving task to work on together. And we could just have that like in their own little folder, like you guys, when you can come and get this from mm -hmm. this group. And that's kind of ups story. the rigor because, you know, we were talking this morning about those next steps and we're like, what are we going to do for those high kids? And anytime they have to create their own story problem, that's still within your standard, right. but it kind of ups the rigor and it gets them to think about situations. Where would I use this? I know they've been doing activities, but where would I use it? You could even, I know if they're pretty creative, like get them to do a Google slide um, and then put it in a center Sorry, the next week that. for the students. Mm -hmm. Um, the oh, other students yes. so that they can, you know, something purposeful that they did that their friends could solve. And they love being teacher. Like they, all they of do. them like to teach their strategy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that would, that would be awesome. It's just next level thinking for them. Now okay. for this group, it's more just moving from the concrete to the abstract, moving from that repeated addition to the multiplication. So mm -hmm. what do you suggest for that? Because that, that to me is going to be the hardest group for me to to move to from that repeated addition to um, because I will say some of these their their actual weakness is their multiplication, right? This one not he's yeah. fluent with multiplication, but these are these these are still struggling with their multiplication facts. So that very well could be why they're adding those because they're not fluent with their multiplication facts. So what would you think about pulling a small group to really focus on taking the repeated addition into multiplication? So, I mean, I know I know that they're struggling some with multiplication, but our real focus is... Just the fractions at this point. Yes. Okay. That way you can kind of support them in the multiplication so we can just move them into that mindset of multiplying versus repeated addition. Mm -hmm. Okay, because if they, I mean, if they see it, when the multiplication <coughs> fluency does come, they'll they'll automatically mm -hmm. move if they understand how that relates to multiplication. Even if you just okay. create a little, like, I don't know, a little graphic organizer of a way that maybe has some four or five different repeated addition problems like this without the answer, and talk about, um, you know, how could we represent this as a multiplication, because and build it upon what they know from third grade with, you know, they learn multiplication with this many groups of this. Yes. So, you know, what's repeated? And you talk about, so am I doing five groups of four fifths or four fifths groups of five? Okay. Because then, you know, remember when we looked at the standard at the beginning in fourth grade, you only do uh, five times four fifths because I have five groups of four fifths. Wow. Um, so maybe pushing on that and we could just do three or four of just the repeated addition without the answer okay. and then y'all could work on how how could I show this as a multiplicative okay. equation and then let them solve it and see if they can make that connection of I'm not going to do it as repeated addition I can think about it as that even if they're not fluent 
what strategies can they use? I know you've been working the, on strategies. And they still mm -hmm. have the answer here. So as long as they saw it in a multiplication format, they'd already know the answer. Exactly. Okay. You know, because that's what we preach so much in our PLCs is that critical thinking. Like, do I want to know the multiplication facts? Yes. I know that they need to know that. But in the grand scheme of things, they need to know how, what to do first. Right. Right. So. Okay. I can do that. Okay. So we're going to we're gonna get these resources pulled for you. Okay. We're going to look at getting them some tasks that are real world. Can we work together and just build like a, a worksheet? For, not really a worksheet, but like a task sheet for that. Yeah. So we can, like, like Mindy was saying, we could just do this and then the addition answer. And then how could you represent that? Yeah. Just have it like boxed out for them. And I would say look for common trends, but we kind of picked out the trends when we kind of looked through. But I'm so impressed with you've been putting in the units, and I know you've been really focusing on that this year. Yes. I guess that's mm -hmm. something that we focused on and put in that sentence. But that helps them understand it, but I'm really impressed with how well they did with that. I mean, I, I don't think even the kids that got it wrong, they all still put their units, which I'm very impressed with. Yeah, and you keeping that, um, the, the planning for the word problems that you had, that you were telling them to use right. at the beginning. We might could even make sure they have that in front of them oh, at right. this small group. Because of Ashley and her four yes. friends. Yes. To help them kind of read through that you know word I problem. I remember that when you put that I, I will. I got you. <laughs> so some changes that y'all made this week, you and Chastity together. What what changes that you made help think help the students be more successful this week than they have been in the past? I'm just going to be um, kind of nasty, honest. Um, I, have, I don't expect anything. Less. I have this one friend. He even he made like on our um, comprehension check. He was like four out of five, and I thought he was rocking it. And I was like, mm, that's great. I really don't have to worry about him. He just missed one problem. I'm going to go over that problem with him. He's going to be fine. We brought out that um, rhombus fraction game to play with him and his partner we well actually we watched them they were getting up and they were going to put it up I and, and and i said hey <laughs> hey did we finish and he was like no we grabbed the wrong center and i said what do you mean you grabbed he said we can't do this <laughs> so they just I quit did. they were just going to put it up they like, didn't no, persevere forget mm -mm. this right? we're just we're just going to get we're going to swap this out and get an easier center mm -hmm. and so we asked them to come up there and play it with us mm -hmm. and it surprised me because there was my four out of five friend just rocking it had no clue conceptually how that those thirds made a hole he just and we, he was even making the holes, making the holes. And we were like, well, how many do you have? And he said, um, I, I think it might have been like nine thirds. Mm -hmm. y yes, baby, yeah. but how many holes do you have? Mm -hmm. and, he's, and he could not. And it was my one out of five friend who looked at him and said, well, these come together. And so that's going to be three. Out, that's a three out of three. And so if that's three out of three, that's a hole. That's three out of three. That's a hole. That's three out of three. That's a hole. And so my one out of five friend schooled my <laughs> four out of five friend. Yeah. And that it it really just opened my eyes because I was thinking, if he has it conceptually, he's good. I can I can push him on. And I can't. Right. Because he did not know, he knew it procedurally but not conceptually. And that's that big third grade mm -hmm. standard that he might have missed last year. He from was just, virtual last year. That could explain it. Mm -hmm. If mama's trying to teach it, you know. I mean I think it's mama's. <laughs> no, but I, um, I understand. Yeah, but yeah. that one big thing for them is understanding <laughs> that those uh, unit fractions create a whole, so that three thirds is one whole. That's a big that's one whole standard in yes. third grade. So you know, so, he may have been missing that piece. Yeah, when we when we did that together and I mean that wasn't even anything that we planned. It was we it, were just sitting there talking about the station in general. Home, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, and it just, it really mm -hmm. opened my mind. So that's one thing that we focused on is, hey, we need, they need to see this more in our stations. Like, yeah. I, and I need to be present in some of their stations. Like, like yeah, I'm going to pull some small group, but pulling a small group to do one of those stations also that's, that can open my eyes just as much as it can theirs. Yeah, because it's like that Jedi mind trick. Like they're playing a game or they're playing a station, yes. and it's like, I'm doing math. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you are. And you're sure. showing me a lot. You know what I mean? So, all right. So how do you feel? Um, I'm actually – I thought I was going to um, be upset because most of the time when we do like Amstad – exit slips type thing I'm like they forgot everything I taught them today <laughs> oh like PLCs and yes stuff? yes okay. yes those PLCs that made me sick um I think this this gives me hope 
Mm-hmm. And if I if I can do this, I can. I, this is functional. This is not something that I'm just throwing in a grade book. I can use this next week, and I can actually pull these babies, and I can move them. I can see it, just like they can see, like when they see things, I can see it, and I can move them. And the work you've done this week, you can see the growth already. Which is amazing to me, one week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's not extra work, it's the work, mm-hmm. right? You know, And it's meaningful. It's meaningful. So, awesome. Okay. Right. Good. We'll get these tools.